with Anthony Durkas, the director of FST Pharma, listed on the CAC as huge. Anthony, welcome to Small Cap Power. Thank you very much for having me. So 24 hours after cannabis was legalized, what's new, what's happening at FST? Sure, so uh, at FST, we, you know, we have a, uh, a, a medical focus. Uh, we think that you know, in the uh, future, you know, the frontier of medicine and cannabis-based medicine is going to be a driver for um, value. I, I think the U.S. eventually is going to have to follow suit and legalize, at least on a medicinal level. And I think when that happens, companies that are positioned, you know, uh, trading in those U.S. markets, you know, will have a, uh, a, a, a an interesting uh, an, an in interesting um, cycle coming up. So you think October 2019 is going to be the big opportunity, the real opportunity? It, you know, it's hard to say. I think the real opportunity uh, will happen when America legalizes medicinally. I, I think it will uh, it will ignite, you know, a uh, a cannabis biotechnology revolution. At the craft plant that you've acquired, you have a huge space to produce. Uh, yes. What's happening there? What are your capacity uh, looking like? Sure. So uh, currently, we have 220,000 square feet being constructed as we speak, and that's with our partner Oxley. Uh, we have 25,000 square feet completed, and, is, and we're growing inside half of that. Uh, and uh, we expect a lot more construction in the very near term with uh, some of our other partner deals, like Cantab is going to be building their facility, World Class Extraction is going to be building in, in our facility. Uh, we'll probably ha make a couple of announcements coming up of other uh, companies with types of technologies or delivery systems that will be operating out of our plant. And what are these companies bringing? What kind of synergies are they bringing to your company? Uh, so yeah, everything is is related to cannabis and and really sort of uh, you know targeting medicinal use of, of cannabis. And uh, do you have a product line? Anything unique about that? It's uh, well. So I think you know there there have been some changes with the ability to uh, to purchase and acquire strains. Uh, it, Previously, it was a very difficult and challenging environment to to uh, to get plants. Um, with some of the new rules, that you know they have relaxed, and, and that's going to be a very very big positive for for us. Any business milestones that will create shareholder value? We want to be the world's largest indoor hydroponic grow facility. Right. And how do you plan to get there? By a lot of construction. Thank you so much for your time, Anthony. Great. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.